Lansdowne Crescent, the last great Victorian terrace of houses to be constructed in Portrush. Erected between about 1885 and 1901, these were large, impressive houses owned by the most important people in the town. The terrace was to give its name to this entire area of Portrush, such was its impact on the town. I'm standing in Lansdowne Green, down there is Lansdowne Road and to the north is Lansdowne Car Park. Initially including Robert Lee's pioneering photographic studio and hotel, large private houses and the Church of Ireland Rectory, it would later evolve into a terrace of fine hotels and guest houses. Tower House anchored the southern end with the Lansdowne Hotel next to it, the renowned Scary Ban Hotel was next and then followed the Ormond, Alexandra, Oakdean, Claremont, Wincliffe, to name but a few. An elegant and desirable place to live or stay on holiday and a provider of fine venues for local gatherings such as annual dinners and a wedding reception. Sadly, time and modern developers have taken their toll on this fine terrace. It has now become a repository for rubbish and litter. Tower House demolished and replaced by apartments, Scary Ban lost in a fire, and the site lying vacant for decades. Many others apparently abandoned and decaying through lack of maintenance, renovation or redevelopment. A few others have been well looked after and redeveloped as apartments. One has reopened as an hotel, the Elephant Rock, whose owners are to be commended for retaining the original building and renovating it to suit their purpose. However, what we're left with overall is a scene of dereliction and decay, a site which does no credit to Portrush or to the owners of the empty and derelict buildings. One has to ask why these sites and buildings and others, such as those on Main Street and Causeway Street, have not been maintained and developed. Why have we been left with this eyesore of dereliction? Who are the owners of these sad buildings and why have they allowed their property to fall into its current state? Why has the scary van site lain vacant for so long? Portrush does not need any more blocks of apartments. We already have too many and they're destroying the character and period style of the town. Neglect of properties across the town is evident. Most are probably owned by developers who have yet to make a start on the repair or redevelopment. Council planning authorities must start insisting on any redevelopment being in character with its surroundings and retaining the look and style of the surrounding buildings. Portrush is a prime holiday destination, but you might be forgiven for thinking otherwise when you look at the decay and dereliction here at Lansdowne and in some other areas of the town. If we must have apartments, let them be built behind the original facades or behind exact copies of the original facades and to the same height and roof style of the original and adjacent building. To my mind, the question is, does Portrush need more second homes? The answer surely is no. It needs more affordable housing for young people born and raised in this town who wish to marry and settle in the town. It needs more hotel and guest house accommodation for visitors. This current cycle of demolishing buildings of character and replacing them with unsightly modern eyesores must stop. And building owners must be encouraged or forced by law to maintain and renovate their properties quickly. Local council and their planning authority must act to stop this unending cycle and hopefully in that way stop the scenes of dereliction which can be seen around the town, but especially here at Lansdowne Crescent. This once elegant terrace of houses should once again become a landmark statement for style and elegance, rather than for the dilapidation and decay as it now stands. <laughs> <laughs>